I had you, I've got no idea how you turn from is you know I, I want to do something with next to how do I come up with a design what how do you do this oh, well, I suppose it just comes second nature to me because I've done it now for 12 years but um uh, this the idea really was to do like a positive message and try and create something that was exciting you know um bright fun and basically would just try and cheer people up it's a really great collaboration because it's you know a brand that stretches all the ages which i think is a lovely thing as well you know i mean i've been sort of i used to work and i had a, a job at next when i was kind of 15 and things like that so you know it kind yeah. of i used to wear the clothes when i was that age i'd wear the clothes now my mum wears the clothes so it's sort of it's one of those things that you know spans the ages as well as Parkinson's does, and I think that's a really exciting thing because there's so much done with Parkinson's and sort of older, elder groups of people, and I think to have a name that's associated with all those ages is a really great thing to, to put it out there into the world. Such yeah. a good name as well. Yeah, and we, we're specifically um, targeting being able to help people with young onset, which mm -hmm. I think is something that's really important to me. Mm -hmm. um, just I feel like there needs to be more support from. Um, well, from, from all areas really, towards people that have young onset, they have different needs and different, um, you know, pressures on them. Yeah, I think a lot of people assume that uh, Parkinson's is only people who are in, who are retired and, you know, the three of us who've got Parkinson's on this uh, call, I think, you know, we're just examples of people who are all, I'm, I'm just about creeping into the, uh, the young onset uh, age group, but um, <laughs> Emma and Lisa, uh, Emma and Jenna, rather, are, are, are well into that age group. But um, and also, there's a lot of people who probably are, are, are suffering with Parkinson's and undiagnosed at the moment that mm. will be in the young onset group because a lot of people don't realise that they've got the condition, you know, for many years actually, not just yeah. months but years, which is a real problem. I think that's a really important thing because the awareness will only make people come forward more and, mm. and push to get. Um, those tests done, you know, and actually get some help as well. I think a lot of people of our age tend to live with it quietly as well, if they're able to, if their symptoms aren't showing. So I think it's great that Next, have, you know, you've been, you felt comfortable that you could tell Next about your condition because I think not everyone feels they can do that. Some people, I think, feel that they might kind of not have get promotion or you know not get the opportunities that people are getting. So I think it's really great that you felt comfortable to be able to not only share with them that you had it, but for them to kind of embrace it and really celebrate it with you. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right, Emma. I think a lot of people live with it and don't talk about it. And that's quite detrimental mentally as well on people because it's a tough thing, you know, when people don't understand yeah. when you're tired or you're struggling with something. Um, it's hard, it's really hard. Mm. Totally agree. And, and, you know, I think a lot of people forget also the people who live with people who have Parkinson's. Mm. Actually, the, the real challenge you know, we're in a situation where at least we know what's happening to us. You know, <laughs> my, my uh, wife and family, they can't tell exactly what's happening and it's had a dramatic effect on their lives as well. So mm -hmm. there's something like 145,000 people in the UK with Parkinson's uh, or diagnosed with Parkinson's, but probably about a million people directly affected. It's, yeah. You know, and it's the fastest growing neurological condition in the world. I think I've noticed sort of more people being more aware of it, especially in, in younger people. I think the, we, the charity as a, as a whole is doing a really good job of getting the word out there that not only does Parkinson's exist and it's important and it's, it's a really difficult condition to live with, but also the message around young onset I think has been really well spread because I'm finding more and more, if I kind of someone approaches me in the street, it's not sort of people looking at me going, oh, is she drunk? Is she nervous? What is it? People actually will say, oh, do you have Parkinson's now? Which is actually a real change from how it was when I first got diagnosed. People end up doing different things than they expected. Mm -hmm. I certainly changed what, what I expected to do, but um, I, I've probably met a lot of people who I would never have met otherwise who mm -hmm. have been yeah. fantastic and I've learned so much from them. And, you know, it, it's amazing just to see, like, the passion of some people, like, you know, like Matt Eagles and mm -hmm. Eddie yourself, you know, you know, like people who are just so passionate about trying to get awareness out there and trying to do something positive rather than crawling away and you know feeling sorry for themselves like i think positivity and men, you know positive mental attitude is really important mm. in a condition like this um i feel like people wouldn't get people sorry sorry no 
as I say, when I feel like when people get diagnosed and they get their set of symptoms, one of the ones that people don't know about symptom-wise is stubbornness, and I think it's actually a really positive thing. I think we all kind of get that ingrained in us and sort of, you know, that fighting spirit, I think, sort of comes with all the other symptoms as well. It's quite funny. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I think we've seen a lot of that in, in lockdown as well, actually, about, you know, because there's been some real challenges with, you know, for example, exercise is one of the few mm. things that does work, but actually... You know, a lot of exercise classes, you know, you can't go to your local uh, village hall or whatever, but suddenly all the the, the online classes that have sprung mm. up, some of them are brilliant, actually. I think um, a lot to the Parkinson's community to see such a big national brand like... Mm. Oh, God, yeah. So, you know, standing up for them and standing in solidarity, I think that will mean so much to the Parkinson's mm. community to see sort of people wearing the T-shirts um, and... Um, really sort of raising the awareness and pushing that message out there about what Parkinson's is um, will mean a lot to the Parkinson's community. So that's what makes it really, really exciting as well. Really I, I totally agree, Lisa. I think people will really appreciate the, the support across the community. And But I think, you know, it's not just buying the teachers, it's wearing them as well, I think. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a great, it's a brilliant message. There's, I think, about 11,000 people a year diagnosed and so I mean these are big numbers and a lot of people just don't know where to go um, first off and it's such a crucial time I mean if I remember when you know when I was diagnosed six years ago um, unfortunately I didn't get much direction as to where to go and it was about it, it was about a month before someone suggested I talk to a Parkinson's nurse and mm. you just don't know what to do and it's it's, it's a, a lot of uncertainty so being able to put something in place that gives people at least some kind of guidance as to who they can talk to and how to, to step, you know, take the next step. I think it's just brilliant. So thank you very much to Next and, and thank you to Jennifer for um, pulling this together. Hey, it's superb. Excited, I think, about the messaging. I think it's the messaging that it's putting out there is, is really positive. I think a lot of the time in the media and things like that, it's often, you know, Parkinson's sufferers, it's, you know, things like, like these words that kind of get used and bandied around. And I think the fact that it's got such positive messaging, especially the t shirts, you know, the, the fact that, you know, if nothing else, be yourself, I think that's a really positive message to anyone that's just been diagnosed or anyone that's feeling a bit sort of weird about the diagnosis and, and having Parkinson's. I know when I was first diagnosed, I wanted to wear black all the time. I wanted to sort of shy away a bit. So the fact that it's bright coloured and it's, it's bold and it's out there, I think is wonderful because I think, you know, I don't do that anymore. I've, I've got pink hair, you know, uh, Jenna's the same. You know, she's got bright blonde hair, she wears bright coloured clothing and it's it's really tempting to kind of hide away when you get diagnosed. But I think actually having something that has a smiley face on it, which is maybe not normally associated with Parkinson's, um, it's kind of something that's a really positive message and I'm really proud of that. That's, that's a really great thing. So.